So yeah, I don't know, JB. I'm thinking 20 years ago, it was, oh, 72 centimeters of snow. Oh, Quebec City. Yeah, not not around here. When I, it based was on what here. I'm based on what I'm looking at, it's 30ish is 30ish centimeters is yeah. the uh, the biggest snowstorm we've had in one day in a in a very long time. Yeah. So this was a consecutive event, I think, like two day storm. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, whatever. So we, wait, we could we could research this forever. So what do you guys think? Snow day tomorrow? First day back at school in person? Yeah. Probably. probably. Yeah. Karma? Yeah. Probably. Well, probably it's no day. Yeah. They so what we got for they today? They won't take any chances. I got lots. You guys arguing about I got snowfalls. Tons, man. I got tons. Oh, yeah? I got a couple things. Usually I don't, but the last couple of weeks I've been prepared. It's good. Because actually I, I don't have anything. You've been setting more things on fire? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> not this week. No. That story's making the rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I had some that's, good that's, feedback that's, on that. That's yeah. pretty classic. I think we painted a nice visual. Did we? Of you with the fire on your boot. Oh, oh my God, my boot was on fire. Yeah. Are we going to talk about Novak Djokovic? Novak Djokovic. You want to talk about Probably that? Probably should have been, just because he's such a moron and so is Australia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, snow predictions, obviously. Outdoor ice. Uh, got a Lanark pick because you guys are forcing me to make it a Lanark pick. No, oh, no, I, no, I had a lot. You're making me make it my own pick because it's not old enough. Well, it's not old enough, but yeah. I had the Lanark okay. pick because I was watching something this okay, morning. Okay, you do the Lanark yeah. pick. I'll make my older pick a new pick. Just the Duff's pick. Yeah, maybe mm. we forget. I think we said we'd talk about stock last week. Never got around to it. No, we did. Yeah, because, yeah, I want to talk about that. And we got a researcher here and, today, so we yeah. should uh, make good use of him. And we probably should shut off the furnace before we go. All right. So, yeah. Warning, this podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Warning, this podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Yeah, good morning. I'll take a medium with two sugar and a medium regular, please. Thanks for the coffee, JB. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. BJ, or is it JB? I don't know, who knows? <laughs> Joining us today finally buys the coffee. Who knows? Free coffee, free coffee. Yeah. And exactly. internet researcher supreme. Yes. Joke maker, mediocre. Dad, mediocre dad joke. joke maker. <laughs> dad joke. Sad you bod. You've got... I, I, Sad we, we need we need to talk about I, your <laughs> your understanding of dad jokes at some point because you're you're slightly skewed on that. Well, you either got you either have the best dad jokes or the worst. Yes. Well, that, that, yeah. that, those that, are dad jokes. That's, yeah, the that's worst how dad the jokes thing. work. Yeah, I know, but that's comments. what I mean. Like it's like a it's like there's a, no line. Well, you know. Yeah, but you don't the worst, understand them. You the, don't understand the definition the worst, of dad. No, 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 but no. the worst dad jokes yeah. are the best ones. Right? Yes, correct. Yeah. And exactly. he has a lot of those. Yeah, he has a lot of bad ones. Yeah. Those are terrible. Whereas yours are just awkward and inappropriate. Yes, and they're exactly. not. Ryan, I don't yeah. even do about yeah. You do. You Somebody do. will make what? an inappropriate joke that's like, yeah. whatever, like Usually, terrible, yeah. and you'll yeah. go, oh, dad joke. And it's yeah. like, Ooh, no. yeah, no. no. Dad joke, you can't. <laughs> yeah, dad jokes, you have to, like, a five year old will, will start giggling. Yes. Yes. And, and teenagers and will just roll their eyes. Instead they won't. of, yeah. yeah, instead of running to the police. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> Well, you normally boy, we did not rehearse you, you banging you like this you, at the start no, of the episode. You don't man. understand that line. <laughs> but, I'll, but, I'll go, but I'll usually go and show my 12-year-old son yeah. a joke, and then he rolls his eyes. Okay. And then, then that's a dad Then I come joke. back and that's a dad, dad joke. to JB and say it's yeah. a dad joke. Yeah. But when yeah. you start start talking about Prince Andrew, like, those aren't dad jokes. <laughs> no, I've never those talked are about, not dad jokes. I've never talked about <laughs> Prince Andrew. <laughs> no, that is not a dad joke So now you're not a monarchist, just like that. <laughs> so, those are leaps, man. Yeah, leaps right, from so. me. In, my usual inappropriate comment is... Your hand is in what, my coffee oh, zone sorry. there, dude. Sorry. There we go. Uh, is, uh, that's what she said. That's what, <laughs> that's what my comeback is. So we're... Uh, Everybody uses When your hand comeback. is in her coffee zone? No. Oh. For back in the jokes. Uh, <laughs> back in the Ford F-150 studio. Yeah, we're back Yet in. Again. Yeah, and, uh, we turned off the furnace. Beautiful, costing, sunny, freezing day. We're starting to freeze. Because it's costing a lot of money. We're gonna freeze during this cast, but I'm warm. How many liters? My... How many liters of fuel would I burn keeping the studio warm? Oh my god! A couple. That's like four bucks. Yeah, right? More than that. Probably five bucks. Yeah. Good thing I didn't have to buy the coffee. Four twenty-five. So what do we got on the show today, DDT? Why? Well, I don't know. 
You, you don't know. You're the producer. Well, you're, yeah, but you're the host. <laughs> Doesn't the You're producer tell the host what's on? No, the host oh. says what we got. Okay. The producer just... Well, why don't we kick things off with something that got us all riled up uh, in the precast when we started talking about your hero, Novax Djokovic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him and I don't like Australia. So, so the Australian Open is yeah. supposed to start later... Today. Today in Canada, but... Yeah, was, tomorrow. Which is tomorrow Australia. in Australia. Yeah. And uh, that's a real poop show with uh, Novax oh, Djokovic. So, so putting aside, putting aside those those Personal things feelings. for sure. Those per so from an athletic perspective, he, yes, he's a phenomenal tennis player. Well, he's the champion, right? He's and the he won it last year. Yes, I, I personally think Australia is an absolutely beautiful country. Oh, although their decisions, yeah, my son was there. He their decisions have not been ideal in no. the past while, as as you know, many other places. So this is madness. Yeah, so my understanding is that he, they asked him if he was vaccinated. He didn't want to disclose yeah. his vaccination status. So clearly he's not. Well, I guess you could take it as that. But Really? But he applied for the exemption. <laughs> okay, maybe <laughs> The assumption maybe he is. usually is. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. He just didn't <laughs> he want just to say it. just doesn't want to say it. it. So, but anyway, he applied for the exemption. Yeah. They gave him the exemption. He goes there. They detain him. God. Revoke his exemption. Yeah. He's now in court. I don't know where they're at. That's today. Probably. Oh, he's gone. He's gone back. That's why I brought it up. Oh, did he go? Did he's the on courts a, he's decide? He's on an Emirates flight to Qatar as we saw. So the courts decide no. Yeah. So, but they became. Not even the courts. This was now just in the hands of like a dictator. Some like oh, his, uh, uh, some PM? member of parliament oh. said, yeah. No, oh, yes. The, the, the health minister. Yeah. And well, he cited it as not, it has nothing to do with vaccines anymore. It's about him riling up the right. anti vaxxers Because of the dissent he would dissent. call. Us. So it's become a political. Can you believe thing. it? But, yeah. but whose oh fault? God. Is that at Crazy. this point? Right? I blame if, Trudeau for if, sure. Hundred <laughs> percent. They, they said they they allowed his exemption. They mm -hmm. allowed him to go there, and then they detain him. Like exactly. They, mm -hmm. Like why? You know, I mean, I, be, I don't because it became political. I don't necessarily see it's there. his fault in in that scenario. I mean, well, I mean, then they said he lied on his application, but I don't think that was the case. I think his brother apparently did the application, and there was some error on it the, the way the paperwork was filled out but still i mean they you know they it, it did become political right <clears throat> because of the whole yeah dissent thing that they would cause politically in australia the only side i take on the whole thing is i i've listened to a lot of the other tennis athletes and they can't stand them and they hmm. they all got vaccinated Many of them unwillingly, I might add, but they did it for the sport. Oh, they did because it. it was a. Do you, yeah. do you think they, they did, did it to, so go, that, do to you think, play? Do you think they're not? Do you think they're not happy that he's not there? <laughs> like, come on, he won, he won the I tournament. I think they last are year. happy he's not there. Of course yeah. they are, because yeah. he's the world number one. Of course, he won it last yeah. year, and if they don't have to play the guy, yeah. Better for them. I and think, he's a flaming lunatic. I think well, the whatever, they don't want to deal with them. them. I think the opinion in most sports circles is like, like zip it and just play, right? Mm -hmm. Just do what you're do what you're supposed Take to. Take one well, for the team. He supposedly had COVID. So if you believe in the the uh, natural antibody thing, then you know. Sure, but that's why is not he a risk to any of the population? He's not. But that's yeah. not even part of any of this. Right? I know. It's... But there was another. There's another tennis player. In fact, I think he. Since when does Australian science guy? and common sense have anything to do with these polls? Well, I'm just saying. Another tennis player took the vaccine and then had a, an adverse event, and now he's yeah. like, I'm really struggling, and then I shouldn't have never gotten the vaccine. Hmm. And I believe he was in Australia. Was it? What guy was that? I forget his name. Andrew Murray or Murray? No, it wasn't not Murray. Murray. No. no. It was one of the guys that was really outspoken. John McEnroe. Anyway, not McEnroe. Oh, not Ivan Lendl. Now those those no. are uh, those are Lanark uh, tennis picks. <laughs> yeah, those are Lanark guys. Lanark picks yeah, for tennis. Those are Lanark guys Love from back it. in the eighties. <clears throat> yeah. Maria Sharapova. Bjorn Borg. Maria Chris Everett Lloyd. Lloyd Everett. Chris Lloyd. Everett. Is it Chris Lloyd Everett? Everett or Everett Lloyd? Yeah. I don't know. Martina and my, my favorite Agassi. Andre. Oh, Andre. Yeah, Agassi. Love Andre Agassi. Yeah. Yeah. I read his book. Fascinating. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's a good guy. He didn't ever want to play tennis, eh? He had a nice hair. No. He got sick of it. Yeah. His dad was pushing him too hard. No, we've heard yeah. that story before. Yeah. It's a, if yeah. you haven't read it, it's a really good read. Huh. Yeah. Andre Agassi. Yeah. Came champion. 
I think I remember looking at the book and thinking, this will be a good book to read someday. <laughs> you just read the headline? And then I never came the back title? to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah go back. There's a lot of good stuff out yeah. there to read. Yeah, like oh, the, sure. the athlete autobiography, some of them are, yeah. You got all your information from the headline? Yeah. Mark Messier has a book. I, I just saw yeah. that recently, actually, and I'm like, I, that looks I was good, at eh? chapters and I almost <clears> grabbed it uh -huh. and I'm like, oh, I'll have to look into that one. So that's exactly what I did for Agassi. Now I did it again for Messier. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a character. I'd like we'll to be doing Cop Car Coffee in 10 years, and I'll be thinking, did <laughs> Remember I read that, that book? I read that book. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at the title on the shelf. Yeah. So oh. what uh, What do we got then, uh, Mr. Host? Okay, so let's, yeah. on a lighter note, yeah. okay? A lighter note where, we resolve, where, Duff, where Duff gets into trouble online. Did we resolve the uh, no No, nah, let's just move on. Oh, okay, let the, okay. let the, the, the good listeners can send us no something resolution. in the mailbag. Let, let the tennis that. balls drop where they may. Yes, exactly. Ooh, bad joke. Are they yellow <laughs> balls or white balls? <laughs> uh, don't they always play with yellow? I no, know. sometimes they're white. And really? At Wimbledon, they're white. Oh. I think they look, they, they contrast with the grass more. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe we should avoid the color of the balls. How about some tennis <laughs> trivia? What is the surface they play on in in Paris at the clay. French Open? That would be clay. That would be yeah. clay. Clay. Wimbledon? Grass. Australia? Hard clay. court. Is it? I thought it was clay there as well. I think they play on, on rejected guess. immigrant visas in <laughs> Australia. Oh, jeez. Surface. At least we're not bitter. <laughs> no, exactly. I thought we were moving on from <laughs> Australia. I like the I like the Trudeau. Could, could so when I went to I, I, I this may have come up before, mm. with my detest uh, detesting my hatred of That's, Australia. Hatred's too strong a word. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I went to Australia, yeah, in the nineties, uh, I was warned beforehand about how their border their border control was so. <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta, you gotta yeah, you, knock out these coughs on uh, the real. It's uh, it's natural. Yeah, you guys breathe in the same air. You have to shut you off your mic. With that. You oh yeah, I should yeah. do that. Well, we're yeah. vaccinated. When you cut, when you, <laughs> what's that do? <laughs> <laughs> so here's a tip, pro tip. Yeah. From the producer. Okay, quick. When you cough, you turn off the mic. Yeah. Okay. You have a little clicker there. I'll remind yeah. remind me to turn off the mic. Yeah. So. Was warned about how how strict their border control policies were, because even back then they had these detention centers, like in the middle of the outback, where they would put people that tried to get into the country that either were trying to get in illegally or going to claim refugee status, or or even if they came and couldn't prove that they had enough money or a plan to leave. Mm. And I think a lot of backpackers. Not a lot, but some backpackers were thrown in there if, if they didn't have a clear plan. And they had a huge anti-drug sort of policy as yeah. well. Not, of, not that I had any worries, like I was not into drugs or anything. Yeah. Well, those aren't horrible things, though. Once a no, but, days, it, but eh? the, the rumors were that you yeah. better be, like, you better be 100% on the rule or... You're going to get in trouble. So once a penal colony, colony always, always a penal, a penal colony. Yeah. So anyways, long yeah. story short, I mean, I, there I am getting off the plane down the, going through the first round of, uh, you know, you know check your passport, all the basic stuff. And then I think I'm home free and then I'm waiting for my bag. And then these two guys come up to me and just start peppering me with questions. Oh, really? Where are you going? Who are you staying with? What do you do for a living? How much money do you have on you? Jesus. When is your flight out? Like, yeah. and I and then you answer everything honestly and nervously, just because yeah. they're like, they're on you. Yeah. Same round of questions again. They asked me like round after round, seeing if I would like uh, say the wrong answer or something. Crack. I was getting nervous. Yeah, they're interrogating. Yeah, you. and then at mm -hmm. the end, I was like, enjoy your stay in Australia. Like, and that was yeah. a, like a Thanks memorable a moment. Yeah. And I think I'm. <laughs> I might so, still harbor a bit of bitterness. Well, apparently, yeah. No, I, I don't think I don't think there's any doubt there, really. Oh. Well, my son, my son liked it. I mean, he was in the Gulf Coast there. The so look, Paradise. I liked it. You know, I, what? I went to Sydney. I went to yeah. to Ayers Rock or Uluru, how, yeah. as they now refer to it. Uh, we went to Cairns, or or at yeah. it's written Cairns, but yeah. we we went to Cairns. That's where my cousin lives. I, I actually was in uh, Port Douglas on the day that Steve Irwin died. Um, there. Who's Steve Irwin? The, the crocodile 
Crocodile Dundee. No, no he's still not alive, Dundee. isn't he? No, not no, Dundee. Steve Irwin was the the, 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 the guy that had the TV show. Okay. Oh, crikey. The yeah. crocodile wrestler. Yes, yes. Yeah, he got stung by a... He stingray. died by a stingray. Stingray, stingray right yeah. in the heart. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. he got a stingray right in the heart. So we were actually in Australia, my wife happened. and I, that day. Poor buddy. Um, so having said that, I, I, ha- I did not have the same negative experience going into the country, although... Uh, I did find it weird when they they kind of sprayed the cabin of the plane when we were getting Ooh, there. Right, <laughs> to invasive with, species. Yeah, invasive species, which yeah. that that left me slightly uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> but understandably, they yeah. have quite a a unique e- ecosystem. But I I thought the country was. Did fantastic. you have to go and do an acid bath as well? I did not. Did no. they strip you down and make you shower? Sadly, no. Yeah. Did you and your wife do that anyways, just for fun? <laughs> after? I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> But we we uh, we loved the country. We thought it was beautiful. Um, Watch out for the uh, fruit bats. But everything will kill you, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Those um, fruit bats are huge. I saw on TV the other day that on this one of those natural disaster shows, like thousands of these fruit bats got loose and they were flying over this one town or city mm. or something, and it was like <coughs> blackout during the day. Oh yeah, like, like hundred thousand fruit bats. It's yeah. crazy, and those things are huge. Deadly plants, deadly spiders, deadly... Uh, deadly riptides. Je- jellyfish. Like, let, brutal jellyfish. Well, right by yeah. Bondi Beach, I so think. So, let me tell you Or Manly Bondi Beach. Beach. There's, Man, Bondi Beach is fine, but yeah. right beside it, there's, like, the world's yep. deadliest yep. riptide beach. Yeah, so let me tell you. Did you go swimming? So, to balance it off... He's going to tell us. Skinny dipping? Stop. To balance Skinny. it off, Sorry. I had a wonderful week there. I stayed with my cousin in Sydney, <clears throat> who's a chef. Your mic. Oh, wow. Made some nice food for us. Yeah, so my cousin grew up here in Ottawa, Tim. Shout out to Tim in Australia. Did you have kangaroo? What did we have? We did not have kangaroo. I don't think we had kangaroo. No. Stop interrupting. Had a wonderful week in Sydney with a weekend up to, is it called the Gold Coast? Gold Coast, Brisbane. that's where my son Yeah, lived spent a couple a days yeah. there and then back. Yeah. So that's all I saw of the, the island continent. Yeah, the uh, colony. But the time in Sydney was fantastic. You talk about beaches. Yeah, they're all over the place. Manly Beach, Bondi yeah, Beach. Yeah, yeah. Like, how, how can you not yeah, find so that Yeah, so we place would gorgeous. walk down to, to Bondi Beach, have nice breakfast on the patio, spend the day. and uh, But a couple of things that surprised me was, A, the temperature of the water was rather cold, mm. like right out of Antarctica, these currents. Wow. And the friggin' riptide. So you're saying there was a worse riptide somewhere else? Thank God I didn't go there. So apparently, close to Bondi Beach, yeah. there's another beach off to Man, the side. Yeah, and and no, it's not Manly Beach. Oh. It's it's a uh, Manly, <laughs> but it, it's known like it My... has warnings where the beach is closed most of the okay. time. But okay. and it has like brutal riptides. It'll it'll carry you right out yeah. in the middle of the ocean and or slam you against the rock. So all I remember is you like caught in the when you think of a riptide, I think I just was uneducated. I pictured this this current literally pushing you way out. Right, yeah. like, like vigorously. Yeah. Whereas what I got caught in was was definitely a riptide because you'd play in the surf and you'd swim out a little bit further and you'd come back in, whatever. But then, at one point, I'm doing all that and then I'm trying to swim back in and you don't even notice at first, but like, you're not going. Like yet. a minute later, you're like, I'm not even moving. <laughs> yeah. Like my swimming is keeping me exactly where I am. Yeah. And then I'm waving at my my cousin like. Can you help? Kind of. I'm not a great swimmer. He's <laughs> waving back at me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, buddy. And then, and then I'm, I'm. Then I just take breaks, and I like float and get my breath back. But Try then I'm on. like, I'm further out every friggin' time. Oh wow. Yeah. So you almost a, got lost. At I'm a little nervous. Yeah. And then I did remember actually swim parallel to the shore, and I've got no energy left. Oh, but so I, you're like, uh, okay, yeah. To get out of it, yeah. I would. I swam for like you were thirty swimming. meters or something. You were swimming perpendicular. And perpendicular. That, nah, was, that oh, was so sorry, were, parallel. So you were full on caught in a riptide. For yes. Sure. Wow. Yes. I've never experienced that. But That's it's crazy. not like it's not waves. It's not. No, like, no, no. It's just like an undercurrent kind yeah. of thing. So like you don't even you, notice it. Is that what you have to do then? Swim. Swim parallel, parallel to the shore to, to get, get out, out of the rip cut tide and then come back in on car coffee. If you ever caught a riptide in but Australia. I, I the, was The life exhausted. lessons on this podcast I know, are yeah. like yeah. endless. Yeah. Really. If you ever exactly. get caught in a riptide, swim parallel to the shore there until you, you get out of it and so, then swim back. So you, had a, you were there for like a week and you had a couple bad experiences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost died okay. in a riptide. Yeah. Almost got thrown in a detention center. 
Yeah. 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 Okay, so now we're yeah. getting down to the roots. It really has nothing to do with no, Australia. Exactly. <laughs> and when you put it in perspective, maybe New Zealand isn't that great, but after I spent my week in Australia, I did two weeks in New Zealand, and I loved it. Oh, okay. nice. I always say it is way better. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, I that's s- sort of like uh, yeah. Australia today. New Zealand, you can see the whole that, country. Well, that's another place Trudeau would feel right at home. Trudeau would fit in yeah. much better in Australia than New Zealand, I think. You think? Absolutely. She said the lady there has got a lot of teeth. She's got a lot of teeth, but I, I, I almost think New Zealand doesn't care. You know how we are here in Ontario yeah. a lot of the time? Yeah. Like, we do our thing, and the government says a bunch of stuff, yeah. but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Some does, sadly, but yeah. a lot of the time, like, our lives go on. Yeah. That's New Zealand. Okay. She's loving the spotlight and yeah, thinks she's yeah. doing the big talk and yeah. walking the walk, but the day-to-day life in New Zealand, I don't think is. Yeah, I, don't I don't think they care. I'm not sure. They're like they're so independent and they're so outdoorsy and <clears throat> I don't know. At least it was 20 years ago. It was like yeah, a really wonderful place. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to go. I've heard uh, a lot of people compare it everything. to Canada from a, yes, yes. It's a smaller, but yes. but it's it's got the same sort of amount of variety. From it's got more mountains, of a Canadian feel. Coastlines yeah. and mm-hmm. like if anything, Australia. Not not that I don't like the states, but it's got a far more republican independent kind of feeling at least wasn't not melbourne I yeah guess. yeah wasn't that uh yeah. last year or the year before when the uh tour group were touring the volcano and it, it erupted where was on, this on the water in new zealand oh i don't remember yeah and they capsized the boat oh, stuff God. like that really yeah hmm. i think that was there speaking yeah. of manly beach you brought up manly beach a couple yeah. times did you want to make a comment jb on uh duff's uh glasses Sun, oh, sunglasses? I, I don't know. He, he sent us a picture this morning on He's the way here. put that up on the Twitter. And, 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 tweet and it I, I have to comment on feed. two things. Yeah. I have to say the, the Expos baseball cap is, uh, is awesome. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Love that it, I like. It. Yeah, I absolutely like love it. Yeah. And then I, I asked why you were wearing your, your wife's sunglasses. Mm. <laughs> That's not very nice. Subject. And then I, I think I, I heard it was, it, was pick, it was glasses from... Uh, Halloween a few years ago uh, for Pitbull. Yes. You were dressed as Pitbull. I was one sick Pitbull with these glasses. And having <laughs> having heard that now, like, I can see... And my fake Ill? bald skull I can cap. see the connect. That, that or Bono. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tweet those out? I get a lot of comments when I wear these glasses. I, I, like you wonder why? Well, yeah. Like, like nice glasses. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Okay. They're unique. Is it from teenagers? Yeah. People on the street, old, young, <laughs> everything in between. Well, maybe they just feel bad for you. <laughs> maybe. I think it's said in jest. Or maybe I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they actually mean it. Like, look at that guy. There you that go. Nice glasses. Warming up the F-150, episode 14 coming your way. No. Oh, 14, yeah, 14. 14. Season but 2. Having said that, I mean, the, the hat offsets it. The hat's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's epic. Yeah. The spose. Yeah, I love it. Jeez, we're 22 minutes in and we, we haven't we, even gotten to anything. Nothing. Yeah, no, exactly. I, it's like a wool hat, too. That's why I wore it. It's like my winter hat. Your winter See wool how hat. it's like actually yeah. wool? Yeah, yeah, that's a really nice hat. Not but but speaking hats. speaking of wool, maybe yeah. we should talk about the weather. Yeah, um, let, let, that's what, that was one we of our main things. About, I, yeah. I mean, I know... Well, I had some stories, too, of my, myself again, like... Oh. Considering my garage fire story, well, let's definitely talk hit. about the weather first. Thing. Is it is it uh, is it the dad bods, the sad bods? Well, sad I bods. take offense to the sad bods. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I don't understand. A, you don't understand dad jokes. So, do you understand what a dad well, bod is? Well, yeah. yeah, of course. We all have dad bods. Sit, well, maybe not JB. JB doesn't. Yeah, but you and I, and we have the dad bods going. And and our number one listener, our top three to five, anyway. He's got the he's got the dad bod. Dad bod. Who's that? Yeah. Chris. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's got he's got the dad bod. He's got the dad bod. So I, you know it's appropriate. But then nothing, you then nothing the, wrong with the dad bod. They're they're popular popularizing dad bods now. Yeah. Dad right. bods is apparently the thing. If you got abs, you're like no no no. It's all about the dad bod. Exactly. So go with sad bod then. Well, I, dad like bod I said, I took too. offense to sad bod. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. But JB had a great line, not just sad bods, but the sad, sad bod. bods and the resolutions. The resolutions. Yeah, you're, the you're, ones you're, that we don't fulfill. Because it's cause January, we, right? Know, so right? I'm yeah, going to get back into shape, no, man. I never said that. Go no, sad no, bod but that's what everybody says well, in January. I know that's what everybody yeah, says. So yeah. it's just, <clears throat> but I never said that. Sad bods and the resolutions. I said, no, I want to keep my dad bod. Coming to a barn near you. Coming to a barn? 
<laughs> Did you say barn or a bar? bar? A bar. A bar. Yeah. Well, not you could be, a be barn. playing in a not barn. Not in this project. Yeah. Barn. <laughs> Start practicing in the barn. Well, we'll play in Lanark at the barn cave. That's Outside. where we're going to practice. Outside somewhere. Yeah, well, that's where we'll rehearse. You guys auditioning? So, have you been shredding all week or what? Shredding? Oh, yeah. I have been have practicing you? a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been jamming? Or no, I Chris only learned two songs so far to say, <laughs> or not even. Oh my! I, I keep adding to the list, but it's going to take about six months. Sad before bods we... with sad music. Exactly. By the sounds of it. Yeah, I've added some heavy metal. I'm not sure if he's quite into that. So you had uh, you had a story. <laughs> yeah, I did. Let's go. Well, you. I was going to oh. start talking about the weather, and you went. Yeah. Well, what about me? Yeah. What about yeah, my no, knees? It's just my. Yeah, my yeah. <laughs> I'm. I've been really selfish on Cop <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's just been one of those starts to the year. You talk about resolutions. Oh, your finances. I mean, Do oh the finances. my God! Like, yeah, yeah. So far this month. Yeah. It's been very expensive. You're spending more than you're making so far. Oh right? God, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so my fridge went. I At least you got talk. the Ford stock helping you out there. Well, yeah, we get at the, You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. We, uh, you know, so this month my fridge had to fridge. replace that. Yeah. That was 1300 bucks. Ouch. But I got a second hands. Well, not second hand. It was brand new. But like, but like open a, box. Like an open box model. Open no, box. you know, I actually, they have a sticker on the back that yeah. I saw. Yeah. It was a return because uh, it was, it said checked off the fit. So yeah. the guy who bought it didn't fit uh, his that's house. Oh, I see. And then the second one was a bit of damage, which there was, like, just on the door. Hmm. But, you know, it was an $1,800 fridge plus tax and delivery and cost me $1,300. Okay, okay. That's but a good still, deal. I yeah, saw the picture. That's a nice fridge. It's a nice yeah. fridge. I like the freezer in the bottom. But so there's that. Yeah. So then uh, now my TV, last couple days. Yeah. It's your, gone. Your 42-inch Samsung. My 46. Ooh, 46. Yeah, 46. Has, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Picture keeps going black. So I brought that in <laughs> yesterday. Brutal. Duff and I went for a little tour. A little and, tour. Uh, we did our coffee en route En yesterday. route, yeah. And I uh, brought that in. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> and then my, my uh, motorcycle built. I don't know if I talked about that. What that about it? it? Well, it started leaking gas all over my oh, you talked about that. garage cave. You talked but that's about when, that. Yeah, you talked about the yeah. fire. You didn't talk about Oh, the yeah, actual, I didn't talk about what you happened. You didn't talk about the know. motorcycle. Yeah, though. so I had to drain everything. So it looks like it's going to be some cash going into that. Well, which one are we talking about? The, the one build. that usually goes into your house or the new one? No, the new one. The yeah. build or the, the, build. the ornament? The build. Yeah, okay. yeah the ornament. So, actually, I didn't put the ornament inside the house. It's in the garage? It's in the garage. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see because that could be a problem too. Oh, God. Come the fall. So, yeah, so this this... 2022 has started to be an expensive year for me, mm. which kind of sucks. But like you said, I got the Ford stock. <laughs> and you got free coffee today. <laughs> and free coffee. That'll save me a But go. the Ford stock like won't really pay off for a while. Long term. Unless you keep chipping yeah. in at it. But you know, you kept going on oh, in your Duff's picks of stocks of the week yeah, about yeah. Ford, Ford, Ford. And I know other coffees when we're not doing the podcast it's or, unreal. or texting throughout the week that you keep going on about Ford. So I had, I ended up buying it. I see no downside in the near yeah. future for Ford. Yeah. Speaking if they're, of, hang on, if they're, if they're, oh, sorry, JB, that was harsh. No, no. No, you go. No, you go. Okay. <laughs> when, when they, when they cannot make enough product for, to, to meet the demand yeah. and people are happy they're they can almost pick their price, like their sell point. Well, and these trucks, man, they're they're coming out with the electric truck. Uh, yeah, and they can't they can't meet the demands. And yeah. then I, I'm in line. Like I, I right. pretty I pretty much think this Just will like be my the last. Harley. This will be my last gas powered truck. You're in line for the Harley as well. We'll talk about that in a sec. Yeah. They're they're I, I've actually I mean it's only commercials obviously. Yeah. I did a little bit of reading about it, but yeah. the, the the platform that they seem to have oh, for their man. electric vehicles looks really cool for yeah. it. I have to say, right? They 100%. they have that yeah. quote unquote Mustang. Yeah, um, yeah you it's know. not a Mustang. Not a Mustang. Not but, a Mustang. So Hello. have you guys heard Don't about blaspheme the Mustang brand by putting some electric SUV <laughs> in? Have you guys heard about the Polestar? Yeah, Polestar. I have yeah. the new car. Yeah, I've heard. Polestar. Yeah. yeah, it's like a new. It's like a yeah. Tesla. I guess sounds like yeah. something. New, I believe company. it's very expensive, is it not? Sounds like I, I something. I have no idea. But silver I, dollar. You do some research. I, I saw a commercial for it yesterday, <laughs> and um, yeah, not at the silver dollar. No. They're not stars <laughs> there. No, no, no. And uh, yeah, I, I, had, I never heard about what that's it. about. What? Is that silver dollar? No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys so your pole star. What you're saying? <laughs> we got got sidetracked. 
Slightly. Is that a, an independent company? I've never heard of uh, it. I believe it is supported by Volvo, potentially. Okay. But aren't they very expensive? Uh, I'm not there sure. So so that's... That's, that's a pulse. Don't you have the uh, price on your uh, research? Yeah, it's a ni- it's, I mean, it's a nice looking car. It's not car. even moving. It's, you got your thumb not, going. There you go. There oh, you go. Okay. Hmm. So it's, it looks like kind of a Dodge Charger. You know, the problem with these electric cars is they're way too expensive. How much is the Ford truck? But they're truck? not. They're so coming down. I'm assuming this is they're probably not. U.S., but the manufacturer retail suggested price is fifty grand. So yeah. forty nine nine. I can't afford that. Most people can't afford fifty grand. You can't say plus, most people anymore. Plus MSRP. Plus, five uh, years uh, sorry, ago. Five years and ago. And... Small electric cars like a Leaf, let's say, were too expensive for the average person. Like yeah. you're not going to pay luxury car prices for a for like a, a hatchback electric car so we're talking 60 80 thousand five ten years ago now like 50 grand seems to be the norm for a car like anywhere yeah, between 30 uh, and 50 is like if you're Stacey's buying a car stupid srv sorry crv 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 god that thing was probably 45 grand yeah i like I can't afford no it. but yeah. but what it, especially this year but the electric comparisons now, there's so much selection. So now you can get a Leaf for 30000 or one of those yeah. key electric. So you can get cheap electric vehicles still, or expensive. a friggin' Tesla. You, you know can get a Tesla they, for 53000 You know how much they make electric vehicle for <clears throat> in China? You can buy one for ten grand. Well, sure. the prices are going to come down, right? I mean, this you is buy still a lot of things in China, I hear. Well, yeah, I mean, grand. you, you won't make it a block, but that's a yeah. different story. Well, I mean... Well, It'll last you about six months. All I'm saying is it's come down, and the average <laughs> Joe, if they want to buy an electric car now, they can buy an electric car. So that's I'm the average that's Joe. the tipping point. Maybe I'm below average Joe then. Nah, you're about the average Joe, and if you really average. wanted an electric car, you could buy one. Of course yeah. you could. Yeah. Like your your gas guzzling be... sedan right now yeah. could get you twenty thousand on a trade, yeah. and you could buy a hatchback but where do Nissan Leaf for thirty. Why would I do that? It's way too small. I couldn't travel up the Sudbury. Why do you do the what? things you do? With a Tesla? Did you hear that? No, a Leaf. Oh, I don't know. Why do you do the things you do? You think we can answer that in a podcast? <laughs> Who knows why you do the things you do? But you we'd could. Have, we'd have to my point. I couldn't fit my daughter's hockey equipment in the back of a Leaf. She's <laughs> a goalie. There's no way. Well, she's she's moving on in, in three months, so then maybe you can. Trade the yeah, hockey gear I, in as well. Throw yeah, it in. I might have to. Yeah, especially the way this year started for me. <laughs> right. Get, get some value yeah. for I that. I might have to trade her, too. <laughs> Ouch. Well, she does have a boyfriend. Maybe you'll yeah, get Yeah, maybe take, take what it What do they call that? A bounty? Not a bounty. A, a, uh, di- a dowry. A dowry. dowry. A bounty. <laughs> a bounty. <laughs> it's more like a bounty. Do you get yeah, the bounty? A dowry. You get a, a couple, dowry couple cows and a, a dowry. Boat. Yeah. When your daughter no, gets I'd married. No, I'd have to give him a dowry. So the the no no the parents of the bride pay the dowry. How does that work? Oh, I think. Yeah. How does that work? Is it... Look that up. No, <laughs> they give the parents the dowry. Do your job. Jim. I will. I'm yeah, working on it. I'm working. Who on gets it. the dowry? Who get? And you're Italian, I right? I thought this was still happened in your culture a little bit. Internet machine. No. Oh. Don't the don't the bride's uh, family it's, get? It's changed a lot since I got yes, married. Yes, so the dowry is given by a woman to her future husband. Yeah, so see? you oh. you would have to be giving yeah, them a couple it. cows. Well, you better go. start yeah. saving yeah, up for the dowry. Well, I gotta go too, and buy the cows and goats, or just how much do modern so the dowry day. can serve as a gift to in-laws or insurance for the bride should she choose to leave her husband. Oh, insurance. Oh, That's insurance. so wrong. Interesting. Yeah. In so many no, I ways. Don't think, Jeez, I, I don't never think received my wife's anything. family gave me anything. Yeah, I didn't get anything no. either. I, it's funny. I thought mm-hmm. it, I th- kind of thought well, it was the opposite. My father-in-law played for the wedding, though. That was an expensive oh, yeah. endeavor. I bet. So I, maybe that. For the first wedding or the second wedding? Well, he certainly didn't pay for my first wedding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I was disconnected there. Ouch. So how about <laughs> that weather? <laughs> <laughs> We're expecting wow. it's cold. snowmageddon tonight. It got, it got freezing all of a sudden in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my It'll God. be freezing when you get back home, too. Uh, yeah, no yeah. kidding. Well, she doesn't listen, so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Warning, the next part of the podcast is a major injurious waste of your time. Warning, the next part of the podcast is a major injurious waste of your time. So speaking of the weather, my whole point online the last few days was how 
I'm a snow lover, as JB, you are for sure. Darcy, it's you're, it's irrelevant to you probably. Yeah, I'm not. We've had some really good banter in the past yeah, few days, yeah, actually, about, about um, the, the cold outside. and having fun outside. I'm out. Yeah. And... I'm out. Yeah. It's a good thing. I'm so the cold is one cold. thing, for sure. And I think yeah. I just... It was, it's neat. it was neat seeing you and Isabel out at the canal, JB. Like, if you're dressed for it, it, and if you enjoy it, it's amazing, right? Last night at the ODR... Minus whatever, it was still super fun. Can we no, explain what ODR is to people? Oh, I'm sure we must have been outdoor rink. Outdoor yeah. rink. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, lots of fun. It's been clear skies, a little chilly, but the ice is great, and we've been all over. But upcoming is this so-called superstorm, and my point on Twitter all week was I'm so sick of the weather forecasters always overestimating snowstorms well we they've been overestimating everything right? everything like we talked about everything. this i think a few yeah. weeks ago Did actually we? well okay what we said or what i said was they get they get oh. the temperature right like the actual right, what right. the what the temperature will be <clears throat> sure but as far as uh precipitation uh, they're they're all over the map they're well it's the old saying right the yeah. the, the well, being if a it weather leads it leads well no being a weather person is the only time you can get most of the things wrong and still keep right. your job. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're a 300 hitter in baseball. Yeah. What's that mean? Yeah. I don't it means you, 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 you miss 70%, yeah, 70% of the time. Yeah. 70% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you that's can considered be, good, though. You can be successful 30% of the time yeah. and be, yeah. and you yeah. be an all star. That's an you're not all-star, just a good yeah. player, but an, an all star. Exactly. You, you yeah. miss 100% of the shots you never take. Okay, Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> that so. Brings us back to the message. Precipitation. Back to the point then. So we're being told we could get 40 centimeters of snow over the next 24 hours starting tonight. Yes. Yeah. And I was quick to say, stop dreaming. You know, what if it happens? as much as I want it. What if it happens? Oh, I'm excited, man. I'm going to sure. I'm going to take my shovel out be and then the next thing, snow. I'm yeah. taking my cross country skis out. Yeah. I'm, I'm very taking excited. my snowshoes out. I'll be out there. I'll get like to use cursing. my snowshoes once. Yeah. Well, snow blowing my driveway, cursing yeah. the whole time. Sadly, we're going to have yeah. to put the bikes away for a while. So the bikes will take a pause until the trails get yeah. flattened again. Then they're going to be amazing yep. again, right? That's and what the fun part is yeah. with the bikes. Once it's hard packed, you're good to go. Should we it's put having the warning options, in like man. at the beginning of this discussion? I'm not even halfway weather. through this. No, <laughs> oh, no. my God. We haven't got to the main point. When the main is, uh, point when is, is that? about 35 minutes? The main point to me Jeez. on this story is that people are <laughs> hammering me on Twitter oh. uh, for my pessimism of this storm. Oh. And I'm just pointing out it's reality. <laughs> Every storm we've gotten in the last few years, it's always less snow than they call for. So then these weather experts are saying, making light of that and saying, hey, human memory is very unreliable. That's very. So cool. they're telling me I just don't remember the big storms. And they say that every, what is it? I forget now. Statistically, every three or five years, we're guaranteed, not guaranteed, but we get a 30 centimeter storm. And every four decades or something, we get a 40 centimeter storm. Well, our, our esteemed researcher said the last 30 yeah. centimeter was... Was when? I think it was 2016. 2016. Yeah, so even that isn't go. in the, in the, in the window. That's three to five right? years. 2016 yeah. is like four six to years five, ago. six, yeah. I mean... I know math isn't your strong. No, but I mean, like, that's, that's <laughs> like 2016. Yeah. You're, 22 you're, minus you're like, 16 is like, what? It's like slicing whatever. It's oh my you're, God. I hope you didn't on. have these math skills when you were dating in college. Like three to five years. So what if it fell like one year out? He's, yeah. ba they're basically right. It's, you know. So irrelevant of all that. That's my the way point, they teach math. My this point year, again. Days, anyway, two plus two equals five. Yeah. 18 wrongs don't make a right. So. <laughs> My point on the, the predictions is just, yeah, if you're expected something every so often, whatever. But 100% of the time, yeah. every prediction has been overestimated in the last three years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And, and it'll sadly, it'll be wrong again. If we don't hit 40 centimeters, they're wrong again. Well, I think it, I never heard 40. I heard 30. I, I heard 25 to 30 centimeters. Oh, yeah. God. I What's the latest? You guys, I, I don't know what you guys are listening to. That's that's what I heard, oh, that's and that, and that's a significant amount of snow. So for sure. yeah. oh. here we go. Where is it? Oh God, we definitely Ottawa have weather on records. It. They're a great they're a great feed. We have a lot of good banter on there. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now you're right, actually. So if I look at the weather, yeah, uh, weather calling forecast, for forty, right? Uh, 30, 30 to forty centimeters of snow tomorrow. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I heard. Mm -hmm. Oh look at this. someone else is chirping in now. 
W2 says February 16th, 2016, 51 centimeters in one day, six years ago. Maybe that can't be the big one I remember. No, it's not. It's not because it was April, I swear. Yeah, well, the numbers. Uh, but there you go. 2016. Did we get 50 centimeters in 2016? Must have. Must have, eh? Yeah. According to W2. Yeah. With his well, Batman w avatar. W2's never wrong. <laughs> oh, he's from St. <laughs> FX. As soon as they mention their alma mater, I think it takes away their yeah, credibility. Yeah. W2 is never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> A funny, blunt view of the world. Also a Does chef and a BSc in, name, in nutrition from St. FX 97. He's got more followers than you, DDT. Oh, well, that's not hard. Who doesn't? Exactly. Eh? So that, that would be actually hey. quite ironic if, if after all that, the kids are finally going back to school yeah. tomorrow morning. The poor and, parents, eh? And, and they have a snow day. Yeah. 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 It's going to happen. So should we, should we, I know I put the warning in. Back before this whole story, but I think you're going to need a few. We might. <laughs> Should we get into the uh, the picks then? Well, how are we doing for time? Oh, that's why I'm trying to hurry us up. Okay. <laughs> My. <laughs> We've lost all three listeners at this oh, point, God. anyways. Our number one listener, my Bo buddy in the sad bods or the bad bods. Bod he's done with, he's done. He's he's done with you now. Yeah, he's gone. My he, pick. He went after the sad bods. Was originally supposed to be a Lanark pick, but you guys kiboshed that because yeah. you didn't think it was old enough. It was. It's 2017, 2019. How many it's... years ago was that, Darcy? <laughs> 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 oh my God, the smoke is rising from his head, everybody. <laughs> it's certainly not a, in the realm of a Lanark pick, that's for sure. So I don't Which know if you 80s, guys 90s. are Stephen King fans or not. Yeah, yeah. I like a good Stephen King yeah. read. I like some of his stuff. Yeah, it's some of it's just a bit too weird, and I yeah. lose interest. But if it's just believable enough, they're they're unreal, eh? Yeah. Did you get, the Dome is a Stephen the King Dome, thing. The Dome is good. I read I, that. Probably I read one of my favorites. I really the like Dome. the Stand. Yeah. The Stand, the stand. Dome. Yeah, they're yeah. probably my top yeah. two. It, yeah. There's a whole bunch of them. So right? yeah. shortly after that comes a series called Mister Mercedes. You ever hear mm -hmm. that one? No. No, no, eh? No. Oh, you got to check it out. You might like it, Mister Mercedes. Okay. And there's a series on. Amazon. This time it's on Amazon. That chronicles it, and uh, I'm loving it. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving it. It uh, it starts off very, very, very distressingly with with basically a mass murder scene oh. uh, from a guy driving a Mercedes oh. through a line of people seeking jobs and employment. Oh. So that's your spoiler, but hey, you would get that in the first two minutes of episode one. Okay. So uh, that sounds uplifting. It's it's not. No. No. And then it, it it basically the plot is about the detective at the time who's trying to to find the the, the killer, the guy driving the Mercedes who gets away after the crime, and he can't, and then he retires, and then like a few years later, the original perpetrator starts harassing him online and stuff. Okay. And okay. it's 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 now a real back and forth. Really good. I, I personally in, am enjoying it. So the podcast just took a turn for the solemn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After that. Yeah. I, I really like uh, that actor. I'm just looking it up online right now. Yeah, who's uh, the actor? Uh, Brendan Gleeson. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Scottish guy? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. A, he's a really powerful actor. He is. Yeah. So yeah. he's the detective. He's yeah. the retired detective. I, I like him in pretty much everything I've seen him you in. You might. So well, a, then you'll like it. Okay. I yeah. highly recommend it. So then. Duff's pick of the week is... Mr. Mr. Mercedes. Mercedes. Nice. Mercedes. Stephen on King. Amazon Prime. Yeah. 2017. So a dark pick for the week, folks. A pretty recent one if you're yeah. watching from up in Lanark. That won't qualify. Well, that's not a Lanark pick. No. I'm going to give you the Lanark. So they, you're on. They don't Lanark have that pick. on VHS yet. No, exactly. The Lanark pick of the week comes from DDT this week. Good. And it was something that I was just sort of watching this morning before coming to the cast. Wow, you were up watching TV this morning. Well, I, it was you were on, up this morning. My wife, yeah, I was up this morning. <laughs> were you on I a bike? I had to get up for this thing. Like JB, no, I was not TV on the bike. Morning? No oh. way. No, I'm. I, you know, like I said, I'm. I'm not into the working out anymore. That's fine. You got to yeah. though. It's January. I know. But At I, least say you will for the month, and okay, then just I'll, continue I'll, not doing I'll it. I'll do it. Yeah, it's a, that's a good segment. Yeah, you something better. You're gonna be called the sad things I sh we should do, but don't. There you go. Yeah. So anyway, the uh, so my wife had put it on this morning. Uh, so that's why I was kind of watching it a little bit before coming here. Okay. It's a Wes Craven film. Huh. 
Should yeah. I know what that means? 1982, I believe. Is that not correct? 1982. Perfect vintage yeah. for Leonard. Yeah, yeah, so it's perfect vintage. It'll be on your VHS. Okay. Might even, might even be on Beta as well. Could be. Betamax. You can have it on Betamax, too. Maybe it'll that. be on disc. Do you remember disc? Before Could be CDs? on the disc, the yeah. The big disc? The big discs, yeah. That's right. A buddy of mine had one of those me, things. I had a buddy, yeah. too. Yeah. They went the way of the Dodo bird, buddy. I guess. I never had one of those. Yeah. We used to watch On Deadly Ground on that. Yeah. Best bar scene yeah. ever. We've talked about that on the show before. Yes, we have. The bar fight. Yeah. Man's man. You won't play a game? That's right. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, I, I derail your story. week or something like that. Probably every week. Probably. Why don't every week we have a, a Steven Seagal quote segment? Yeah. Let's <laughs> say we did and don't. Yeah. For yeah, sure. he's... Uh, <laughs> continue. That man is awkward. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, watching it this morning... Came out in 1982. Wes Craven yeah. movie. Yeah. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Yeah. JB, you better be Googling Swamp this. Swamp Thing. 1982 Swamp Thing. Yeah, yeah. that's a classic. That's actually that a classic. That's a it's a it's a superhero movie. I think. Is it? Yeah. Well, I think. No, I didn't did get you that, watch it? Well, I didn't get that far. I, I, I had think, to come here. I oh. think the Swamp yeah. Thing is. You're giving is, a, uh, a pick on a show good. you I haven't was, even watched. Well, I was getting into it there, okay. so I was like, oh, now I got to leave for the. Would you watch the trailer? No, no, I watched okay. about, you know, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, oh, damn, now i got to leave for the podcast. Yeah, so I don't so, know what happens. I'm going to have to go back and finish. So I don't know, again, I don't know in which uh, quote-unquote universe uh, he is, <laughs> uh, but uh, but he it's just, he's a superhero. Well, in this movie, I think Al what they Alec Holland? Oh, I don't know. Is that his name? Well, I think in this movie what they said was that uh, he was too powerful to kill and too powerful to catch, too smart to catch. Hmm. I came off right at the top of the movie in writing. Yeah, in a, in a font, in a text on the top of the movie. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Swamp Thing. And so got... Wes, Wes Craven, he's, um, he was very prolific in the, uh, in the horror movie. He was. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Uh, I think he did the Scream uh, movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah. So it was good. He's a. Uh, a good pick. So the Lanark pick of this week from DDT is the Swamp Thing. The Swamp Thing. Let me redo please, that. Please make sure the warning goes in before Swamp Thing. That's all I ask. Yeah. No, the warning has gone in before your weather thing. No, I disagree. Really? I yeah, we, that was, it kind of went downhill we when we started well, No, no, it went. Lanark actually, you should probably Lanark. go on by your pick. I think. Because your pick pick really turned the... I think you're deflecting from just how bad this latest segment is. <laughs> well, let me let me try to redo the pick. Wrap it up. Let's Swamp roll. So go thing. go to your local Blockbuster and rent Swamp I'm, Thing on VHS. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm actually <laughs> looking beta. up looking up jobs on... Uh, Why are you looking up jobs? Because your story's so boring. Indeed. <laughs> then we know we, we need a warning. God. Parcel delivery driver, 44k. Wow, that's not bad. Eh? We didn't get... Uh... You already did that, though. You need to move on to yeah. something you haven't done. Here's a good one. Wildlife control technician, mm. Nepean, Ontario. Cool. Should we Ooh. do that as a segment? Of Owner, day? operator, flat deck truck driver. 28000 gross monthly. 150 to 250 a year. So um, what else uh, What else do we have for today? We could all do the that. Agenda. We could share a job. Flat deck? This particular job. What kind of license do you need for that? I could do like the three o'clock to six o'clock shift. Do they supply the truck? Well, do I have to get right into it here? <laughs> now we need the warning. Look at that, 150 to 250 a year, full-time permanent. They need two people. Oh. 150 to 250 a year? Yeah. What? Well, the, these jobs, man, are, are in such demand now, right? Especially with Trudeau saying you need to be vaccinated across the border. You're yeah. going to see a lot more of this. Yeah. 82% gross revenue, $3,000 sign-on bonus, $1,000 shop credit that can be used to buy equipment, weekly pay, $28,000 a month, offering a trailer rental. Ooh, maybe you have to rent the trailer. Uh, you need two years uh, ability to drive, cross-border, clear criminal record, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, they're paying you by the mile, too. $1.75 wow. a mile. Anyways, lots of good stuff yeah. out there. So I only go there when, when the picks are boring. Well, so. so Swamp Thing. We should talk about that some more then, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Well, we uh, uh, beyond that, I think we're. I think we should be wrapping up. Yeah, I think we didn't get to half of stuff. Looping we back to tennis, that was a terrible volley. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, at least we got the pick in there. Yeah, I, mean, I think we got it all. You know, Duff didn't I come got prepared. It well, he thought his 2017 thing was a land. I knew JB would be here and he would carry us for sure, yeah. which which he did through most of it, yeah. except the the pick, the swamp pick. I don't even know what it's well, called. Well, the Duff's pick wasn't. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm going to say the Duff's pick wasn't that. I was dreaming of driving a big rig down I-95, <laughs> making 200000 a year. Ah, uh, I-95. How I miss you so. Same here. <laughs> Uh, we'll save the stock. Well, we did picks a bit of and the, the mailbag. Yeah, we alluded to it, but we should. We really... didn't talk about going to Harley Davidson. Mailbag. Oh, the mail... mailbag. Yeah. The That's mailbag, but the Harley do, trip yeah. too. The Harley trip. Yes, we had. A, I had really enjoyed that store. What yeah. a nice shop. Yeah. Where'd you guys go? The Harley, Harley Davidson. Davidson store in Ottawa. Yeah. Really. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna buy a bike. And they even have electric bicycles. Yeah. Like thirty. Really nice. Thirty kilometers an hour, hundred and twenty kilometer range. No, it was more than that, wasn't it? Something more than that. It was 100 miles. No. 100 miles, 160K. Yeah. What? Yeah. The yeah electric bicycles. Electric yeah. bikes, e bikes by Harley. And uh, big fat tires, real real nice looking, nice matte looking. black, nice and clean. Yeah. All for only 5,000. Yeah. 5,000 bucks. 5,000. That could be my next commuter tool. That's what I was going to say. I'd, I'd look at, can we say Costco? We haven't said Costco in such a long time. Uh, it's been, but there's a bunch of e-bikes at Costco. No, but you should. You got to go to the Harley oh, shop and look at these. Belt driven. Belt driven, solid. Yeah. Really nice. And the guy even said. Black. The guy even said like it's almost drive. like a governor. Like it's thirty kilometers oh, per yeah. hour based on the law. Based on the law. But if you knew what to do with the engine, you could probably make it go faster. How cool is that? Wow. Yeah. And it's got actual pedals as well to assist it. Should you choose to actually want a bike? Yeah. Yeah. I would probably just but weld mine. How are the motorcycles? <laughs> oh, oh no. God. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, you know, Duff's going to buy. They're so He's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Not right now, but. They're no. so expensive, though. So expensive. Oh, my God. They had the They're, electric uh, ones there were the 40 thing. grand. They're not, though. The electric. So the electrics, yeah, are, are expensive. 40000 for a bike seems expensive. But, I mean, if that's your main commuter tool, then it's not. But the what what style is that the one? Sportster I like? for sixteen thousand, a brand new Harley. That's but that not the Sportster's expensive. a small one, right? Like yeah, it's a smaller one. I know. I mean, smaller, smaller, by twelve hundred like cc. Twelve, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? That's not but that I mean, small. you know, okay. it's it's lower to the ground. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. they had the bigger used ones in the back. They had a bike there for five thousand. Like that's not yeah. expensive. But that's not my style. Those big. No, no. Those what do you call those? Huge. Those big cruisers. cruisers. Yeah. But yeah, the I little sportsters and the bobbers and so I know DDT, wow. you're a you're a crotch rocket kind of guy. Yeah. Like you like yeah. you like yeah. what w would you be a crotch rocket guy? Don't so I've had all three. I've actually well not all three. I've had a started with an enduro, sold it, and then I got the big Honda Ace 750 Shadow. That was more of a cruiser, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. Heavy, heavy bike, but beautiful. And then I went to the little Ninja crotch rocket. Yeah, and I enjoyed them all in different ways, but I'm not ready yet to go to uh, yeah. a cruiser. I'm still on the crotch. I want a cruiser, and I want something like stylish. I've never, I've never ridden a, a crotch rocket. I've done well. I had, I had two bikes. I had a, a Honda CB mm. 650. Um, That's like yours. Which I, I, I didn't. Mine's CBR. CBR. Yeah, but it, it was the cruiser type. Yeah. More cruiser types. Yeah. You're kind of sit, sitting up, and then I had a Honda Magna. Um, yeah. which I, I loved. Yeah, Not a Honda fan? No, this is just, I can't believe we're still talking. We should save, <laughs> we should save this for next week. Yeah. yeah. yeah we talk. have a lot. Yeah. We have a lot. Yeah. Cause Folks, we can, we look, can talk about yeah. places we've yeah. gone on our bikes. Yeah. Let's do that. that next right. week yeah. we're talking bikes guys. Uh, thanks for listening in. That's cop car coffee. That was really abrupt. Oh, yeah, oh my you, you God. Just, we were supposed to wrap it up five minutes ago, and I, then I we think, started talking about bikes. I think you needed to go to the washroom. <laughs> oh, There's a couple times. It's washroom. like, yeah, this is a really good conversation. Okay, got to go. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm fun, just though. tired. <laughs> yeah. to How guys. long was that? The steam in here? Three minutes. Is that the post? It's 53 minutes. That's a long one. That's what she said. <laughs> oh,